Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mod and today we are going to solve some exercise questions 1 to 16, exercise 3e of chapter 3, chapter name is playing with numbers of class 6 of composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog mathbread.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICAC and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions and if you like this video then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 16, exercise 3e of chapter 3, chapter name is playing with numbers and topics are highest common factors, HCF by prime factorization method and HCF by continuous continue division method. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 2, determine the HCF highest common factor of the numbers in each of the following by continuous division method. First bit is 348 and 1024. We have to find the SCF of numbers 348 and 1024 using continued division method. In, in number 1, we use the prime factorization method to find the SCF of the two numbers. And now we find the SCF of two numbers using the continued division method. So first divide 1024. 1024 is greater number then the number 348 so we have to divide 348 with 1024 now 3 3 and 9 348 multiplied with 3 and 3 is just 24 3 4 is just 12 12 plus 2 is 14 okay 1024 so it is multiplied with 2 bigger number 1044 so we have to multiply 348 with 2 2 8 just 16 1 2 4 just 8 8 plus 1 is 9 and 2 3 just 6 now it is 14 minus 6 is 8 11 minus 9 is 2 and this is 9 9 minus 6 is 3 now 328 is the remainder now Divide 348 with 328. 328. Mm, this is 20. Now divide 20 with 328. Now this is 21 20. And this is 2. 28. 128. Twenty. Well. Now we can't divide 12 with 8 because 12 is the bigger number than 8. So 12 is the highest common factor. 12 is the highest common factor. Mm -hmm. Eight. Eight two jar. Eight two jar sixteen. Four. Now divide eight. Four two jar eight. Zero. So four is the highest common factor between three hundred forty-eight and one thousand twenty-four. So SCF of 348 and 1024 is 4. 4 is the highest common factor between 348 and 1024 using the method continued division method. 
Now question number two, two thousand three hundred twelve and three thousand four hundred thirty four. Using the method of continuous division method, determine the highest common factor of the numbers two thousand three hundred twelve and three three thousand four hundred four hundred thirty four. Three thousand four hundred thirty four is the greater number than the two thousand three hundred twelve. So divide three thousand four hundred thirty four with two thousand three hundred twelve. And this is Four four two and four hundred forty two divided by divided by sixty eight. माइनस एट इज फोर Thirty four is sixty eight. Two fifty zero. So thirty four is the highest common factor between two thousand three hundred twelve and three three thousand four hundred thirty four. Now highest common factor of two thousand three hundred twelve and three thousand four hundred thirty four. Is thirty four. So thirty four is the highest common factor of uh, between the numbers two thousand three hundred twelve and three thousand four hundred thirty four using the continuous division method. Now third bit one hundred forty four, one hundred eighty, and one hundred ninety two. Find uh, we have to find the highest common factor of these numbers 144 and 180 and 192 using continuous division method. Among these numbers, 192 is the greater number. So first divide 192 with the second greatest number is 180. So 192 with 180, one jo 180, then 192 minus 180 is two one. Now divide one hundred eighty with twelve. Twelve ones are twelve. Six. Twelve fives are sixty. Now twelve is the highest common factor between one hundred ninety-two and one hundred eighty. Highest common factor of one hundred ninety-two and one hundred eighty is twelve. Now, now we have to find out uh, highest common factor between one hundred forty-four and twelve. So, one hundred forty-four and twelve. Twelve ones are twelve. Two. Twelve twos are twenty-four. So, between one hundred forty-four and twelve, highest common factor is twelve. Highest common factor of one hundred forty-four 
144 and this 12 is 12 so now highest common factor of 144 180 and 192 is 12 Highest common factor of 144, 180, and 192 is 12. So highest common factor of 144, 180, and 192 using continued division method is 12. Now fourth bit one thousand six hundred twenty four five hundred twenty two and one thousand two hundred seventy six. Using continued division method, we have to find the highest common factor of these numbers. So among these numbers, sixteen hundred one thousand six hundred twenty four five hundred twenty two and one thousand two hundred seventy six. See one thousand six hundred twenty four is the greater number than one thousand two hundred seventy six is the next greater number. So first divide one thousand six hundred twenty four. With one thousand two hundred seventy-six, now we have to find out highest common factor of one thousand six hundred twenty-four and one thousand two hundred seventy-six using continued division method. So now one thousand two hundred seventy-six. This is one jam multiplied with one, we get one two seven six. Now subtract this number one thousand six hundred twenty-four with one thousand two hundred seventy-six. Fourteen minus six is eight. And eleven minus seven is four. Now this is five. Five minus two is three. Now divide one thousand two hundred seventy-six with three hundred forty-eight. Now three hundred forty-eight with three is three. Eight just twenty-four. Three four just twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen. Three three the nine plus one is. Ten and three hundred forty-eight multiplied with four is four is just thirty-two. Four four just sixteen plus three is nineteen. Four three is twelve plus one thirty thirteen. Now three hundred forty-eight multiplied with three is one thousand forty-four. Now subtract this number. Sixteen minus four is eight. Sixteen mm, minus four. Six minus four is two. Six minus four is two. Seven minus four is three. And this two minus zero is two. Now divide three hundred forty-eight with two hundred thirty-two. Now two hundred two hundred thirty-two. Now subtract this two three hundred forty eight is two hundred thirty two eight minus two is six four minus three one and this is three minus two is one. Now one one six two hundred thirty two divide with one one six one one six multiplied with two sixteen to the thirty two and this two one the two. So zero is the remainder. So 116 is the highest common factor between 1276 and 1624. So HCF of 1624 and 1276 is 116. Now we have to find out highest common factor between 512. This is the third number, 512 and 116. And 116 is the highest common factor between 1624 and 1276. Now find out highest common factor between 522 and 116. 
Now between 522 and 116, 522 is the bigger number, so we have to divide 522 with 116. Now this is 3. Four, sixteen, four is sixty-four, and four of four is number four. Twelve minus four is eight, and this is eleven. Eleven minus five, six is five. Four minus four is two, zero. Now one one six. Now fifty-eight mm, multiplied with two is one hundred sixteen. So two is just sixteen, and two five just ten plus one eleven. Two is sixteen one. Zero is the remainder. So 58 is the highest common factor between 116 and 522. Now highest common factor of 522 and 116 is 58. So between these numbers 1624 522 1276 hcf hcf between 1624 522 and 1276 hcf is 58 so hcf now hcf of 1624 and 1,276 is 58. So, highest common factor, highest common factor of 1,624, 522 and 1,276 using continue division method is 58. subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you